Hello, Brian Myers from Winning Solutions Inc. and the Microsoft Access Experts. And today I have a demo for you of our OEE database template. To access that, you can go to our www.microsoftaccessexpert.com website, scroll down on the left side, and click on the database templates, and look through the list, and we should find the Access OEE database. We'll go ahead and click on that. You can read up on the information that we have here on the site. You can also chat with us if you need more information. You can also contact us. Uh, there's a couple of uh, screenshots of the various screens of the application here. You can click on those to get a larger view. Uh, I'm going to keep scrolling down here. And here's where you can download a demo version. I'm going to download the 2007, 2010, 2013 version. I'm going to save that to my desktop. And we'll scroll down here a little bit further. Here's the pricing information if you decide you like this demo and would like to uh, purchase a database template as a starting point or have us develop this database template into something more specifically usable by you and your company. So we're done with the website here, so I'm going to close out. And we've got a zip file here. I'm going to right-click and extract all. I'm going to extract it to the desktop here. And here is our OEE demo. Uh, information will not be saved in the demo version of this application template. Uh, if you do get this Microsoft security warning, I'll put a link to how to solve uh, trusted locations issues. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but I'll leave a link to one in the, the uh, video in the description. So we'll go ahead and click open. And here is our OEE database system that's opened up. The first thing I'm going to look at is the dashboard, and this shows us our various circuits. We can filter it by date, and it is color-coded to how well those circuits are performing. We get various information here. We can also click on one of these, and we can get some nice charts here, kind of showing us how the, they have performed in loading availability, performance, quality, OEE, and TEEP. So a very nice way to be able to look at uh, the performance of your equipment. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. That was the dashboard there. Very handy. Then we'll look at the downtime form. This has some example data put into it of uh, various dates, shifts, and circuits. Their time down, their time up, what equipment, the down center that handled it, uh, the down center type, the reason, and some notes. We can add a new one. We can also filter those uh, via date. We can edit one of these records just to see here. We have the date, the shift, the circuit, the time down, the time up, what equipment piece it was, what down center handled the downtime, what was actually happening, which was process cleaning, uh, the reason for it, and normal cleaning of an elevator is what we have there. I'm not going to save that, but I'll go ahead and close it. The other nice feature we have from this screen is we have the ability to export to Excel. And I'll bring that over here. And we have just exported all of our information out of that uh, table into Excel so we can use it elsewhere, run reports. Very nice feature. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. I'm not going to save. So we'll go ahead and close out of our downtime window. And the next thing I'm going to look at is the production variables. You can come in here and see the various circuits, how the production is going, once again, color-coded. We also have the ability to filter, once again, by date, add a new production data variable. Uh, we can export to Excel as well here. We can also edit and delete. We'll go ahead and edit one of these records here. And you can see we have date, shift, circuit, uh, shift length, short breaks, meal break, uh, ideal run rate, uh, total pounds per shift. Uh, we've got the uh, ideal pounds per shift. We've got quality rate per shift. Uh, we've got the TEEP downtime, the TEE downtime, uh, performance uh, loss and the reason why we lost it and the percent. So that's a great way to track our production variables. 
and then we have the ability to set up various items here. This is the circuit setup form where you can enter in the information specific to, to circuits. We also have the downtime centers, which we can add to that list as well. We can also add down center types. We also have equipment that we can maintain, whether it's disabled or from OEE. Uh, we have reasons that we can maintain here as well reasons why the equipment was down or had production issues. Another reasons table there. And an ability to set up our shifts and set the shift length and, and a description. So we have all the ability to have a great starting place for OE database systems. Uh, if you need any additional support, feel free to contact us. If you'd like to purchase the template, I'll put a link to where you can get that down in the description below. You can always give us a like and subscribe. We post new templates and tutorials for access and databases all the time. You can also hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. I'll put links to those in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Thank you.